The Duchess made the controversial claim during an incendiary two-hour interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this month. Meghan said she and Harry first took their vows just the two of us in our backyard with the Archbishop of Canterbury. However, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, confirmed the televised service watched by millions around the world was the Sussex's legal wedding. Speaking to Italian newspaper La Repubblica he said, the legal wedding was on the Saturday. I signed the wedding certificate, which is a legal document, and I would have committed a serious criminal offence if I signed it knowing it was false. However Dr. Sholomos Shogbamimu, who described herself as a political and women's rights activist, defended Meghan's comment. Meghan and Harry's legal wedding, watched live by hundreds of millions across the world, took place on May 19 at Windsor Castle St. George's Chapel. However, during his La Republica interview Mr. Welby didn't rule out a private service having happened earlier, though it wouldn't have been a legal marriage. He commented, I won't say what happened at any other meetings. If any of you ever talk to a priest, you expect them to keep that talk confidential. It doesn't matter who I'm talking to. I had a number of private and pastoral meetings with the Duke and Duchess before the wedding, 